We're now celebrating Hanukkah, commemorating the great Nisim, the great miracles that the Rebbeinu Shalom enacted on behalf of our people at the time of the Beis Hamikdash, and we have the great mitzvah of lighting Neres Hanukkah, the Menorah, or the candles of Hanukkah. And we know that in the mitzvah of Hanukkah, there is a special Indian in the mitzvah of Hanukkah that we don't find in other mitzvahs, that we have all the Hidur, Mahadrin, or Mahadrin, and Mahadrin, that we take pains, that we try to light the candles in the best possible way. Every day we add an additional candle, we light an additional candle every night, and we light candles in an abundance. People themselves light their own candles. Something that we don't find in other mitzvahs. By other mitzvahs, there's Keza Keli Van Vehu. We try to glorify the mitzvahs. But here, this is in a generally accepted principle that for the Hamoinam, not just for Tzadikim, Hasidim, Anshim, Maisa, but the Hamoinam, the populace in general at large, the, the Hidurim are part and parcel of the mitzvah. There seems, however, to be a contradiction in the mitzvah of Neres Chana, because on the one hand, we light the candles with all the Hidurim and try to light it in the best possible way, but there's also halacha of Kafsa in Zokakla, that if by accident the candles were blown out, we do not have a mitzvah, even the Kharkhila, of relighting the candles. Now, on the one hand, we want to be mefarsim, the men, the nace. We want to publicize and glorify the nace of Hanukkah. We light it in abundance in the best possible way. And on the other hand, if the candles are extinguished by accident, we don't bother at all to relight them. One would think that we want to publicize the mitzvah, and if it goes out, if it's extinguished, we should relight it to perpetuate the mitzvah. No. So on the one hand, we light the candles with all the hidurah. On the other hand, kafs ein zokoklo. So what is the deeper understanding of this apparent contradiction? We know that on Hanukkah, the Kriya Satayra we lane from the parish of the Torah, the Hanukkah Sanasim. On the Chof Hei Bekislev, the day of Hanukkah, that was the day that the Melechas HaMishkan, that the building of the Mishkan was completed. In the building of the Mishkan, we find the following Pasuk. In Parshas Kisisa, the Torah says, Vaidaber Hashem al Moshe Leimor Re'ei, Karasi v'shem, b'tzalal ben Uri ben Chur l'mata Yehuda. The Pesach says, Re'ei, behold, look, I called b'tzalal. What is the meaning of Re'ei? What are we supposed to take note of? And in Parshas Vayakel, it says, a similar Lashon Re'u. Behold, what is this that we're supposed to take note of Re'ei to see? What does the Torah want to tell us, indicate with this? The Ramban says, the Torah is saying, Re'ei, look, look at this great miracle that is unfolding before your eyes. Behold this great miracle that B'tzalel and all his staff, slaves that came out of Mitzrayim, that had no expertise whatsoever in building a Mishkan, with the delicate, intricate work that was involved. The Mishkan was Shlachshoi, Machshovis, Lasis, Bazohov, Uvakesev, Uvanachoishes, the Malachas Umnas of the Mishkan, the glorious Mishkan and the great the great expertise that was required to build it. Who is gonna build this Mishkan? Slaves who came out of Mitzrayim, Shakol Malachtam Berefesh of Atit working in the mud with bricks and blocks, they're the ones that are going to build this Mishkan. 
Behold this great nace, Hashem is saying, that I'm going to take slaves out of Mitzrayim and they're going to build this beautiful, glorious edifice. And in what merit were they Zaycha? If they didn't have the natural ability, in what merit were they Zaycha to build this glorious Mishkan? The Pasuk says, V'ani hinei nosati ito yes eoliyov ben achisamach lamate dan, uvelev kol chacham lev nosati chachma, v'asu es kol asher tzivisicha. The Pasuk says, uvelev kol chacham lev nosati chachma. To who will I give this wisdom? To whom will I give this skill? Shem says, Uvalev kol chacham lev. I will give this wisdom. I will give this ability to a chacham lev. But Salel, Oliyav, they were chachme lev. And that's why they were zaycha. Now what is a chacham lev? The Pasuk in Mishle says, Chacham Lev Yikach Mitzvahs Ve'avil Sfasayim Yilaveit Mishle Yud Posek Ches Chacham Lev Yikach Mitzvahs A Chacham Lev He will take mitzvahs The Goyen explains in other Meforshim The Chacham Lev The one that has the Rotsan Hapnimi He has a desire in his heart To fulfill the Rotsan Hashem He will grab hold of mitzvahs he will take hold and grab the mitzvahs with all his enthusiasm. But the avilsa saim, the one that doesn't have the true desire to fulfill the rotsan Hashem, he will grow weary. A chacham lev is the one that has the inner desire, the true desire to fulfill the rotsan Hashem. He will not weary. He will grab the mitzvahs and will lay kol chacham lev nosati chacham. The Rabbi Shalom says, "To whom will I bestow this wisdom, this ability, this umnas to the chacham lev, to the one that has the rots and hapnimi?" B'tzalel, b'derech b'tzalel, b'derech hateva. There was no possible way that he could have built this glorious edifice, the Mishka. With his natural abilities, this would never come to pass. But he had the Ratzon, he had the inner desire to fulfill the wishes of Hashem, to carry out the Ratzon Hashem. Hashem gave him a matana. Hashem gave him this ability to build a Mishka. And because he was a Chacham Leib. So even though Bedera Chateva, he could not have carried this out, but Hashem bestows miracles to those who want to, in their whole heart, fulfill His Rotsan. The Hashmanoim, B'der HaTeva, there was no possible way that they could have conquered the Greeks. But Derechateva, there was no possible way that this one small pach of Sheman could have lit and lasted for eight days. But the Chashmanoim, with her whole heart, and the Messiris Nefesh, literally, had the desire to fill the rots on Hashem to have the Beis HaMikdash, B'Kedusha, B'Tahara, to light the candles, L'Chadchila, in the best possible way, B'Kedusha, B'Tahara, and Hashem bestowed the miracle to those who wholeheartedly want to carry out His Ratzon. And so therefore we light the Hanukkah candles, we light the Menaira, in the same way that the Hashmanoim, that they were Oivet Hashem. It's not in our hands to carry out the results. And the future is not ours. We cannot be responsible to know what will happen. It is our responsibility to wholeheartedly, behold, lay the nefesh, 
be over Hashem. So we light the candles, Davka, the menorah of Hanukkah, with all the Hidur, a Mahadrin, a Mahadrin, and a Mahadrin, in the best possible way we can, in the greatest way of Pirsum and Nisa. But the outcome, the outcome is in the hands of Hashem. So we light the candles, Ishu Beisai, B'chul Hidurim, but Kavsa, Ein Zokha Klo. We demonstrate that we're Oivir Hashem wholeheartedly, even though the outcome and the results we acknowledge and know is not in our hands. But we're Baiteach in Hashem. We have full trust and Bitochen in the Rebbeinah Shalila. And Sha'osa Nisim Lavaiseno Bayomim Ahem Basmanazeh. And just as in those days the Rebbeinah Shalila bestowed miracles, Nisim Lavaiseno, who were Oivir Hashem wholeheartedly. We also have the bitachon that if we carry out his wishes, believe sholem, believe nefesh, bechol harotzen, that we too will merit the great miracles in our days. Amen. V'chein hi rotzen. Hello.